hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding banner underscore root in Odo version 12 and 13 so you might not hear this name before but you definitely you will be seeing the usage of this banner root in Odo version 12 so if I go to the hospital management module and if I go to the appointments tree view so I'll go to the appointments menu and I'll just switch to the appointments tree view. So right now I have opened the appointments tree view and here in the view you can see there is a new section coming in between the list of records and the create button. So here you can see I have added like and subscribe the channel as well as get notified regarding all the Odoo updates. So what happens if I click on this? So if I just click on this, so I'll just open the same new tab. So it will be redirected to our YouTube channel. Right now, there is no internet connection in my lab. So that's why it's not loading. So you can see it has been getting redirected. So I have added this inside the tree view using the banner underscore root option available in Odo version 13. So this is the another usage of the banner root. So if I go to the invoicing or accounting module, and here you can see here you have got the banner that is onboarding panel so this onboarding panel is added using the keyword banner underscore root so if i go to the odoo i'll just close these pages and i'll just search banner root inside odoo so that you can see the usage of banner root so i'll just click on find in path and if i search for banner root here you can see this is the banner root that I have added so if I go to the sales module here you can see it's added in the sale quotation tree and it has been used inside the accounting also so right now we have seen the onboarding panel added for the accounting and now if I go to the sales module so we'll go to the sales module and if you go to the sales module I have already closed it so if you check your system you might see an onboard, onboarding panel here in the top of the tree view so right now i have already closed it that's why you are not able to see in the sales so what i have done inside the appointments so if i go to the hospital and then to the appointments what i have done is if i go to pycharm and if i take the corresponding view so here you have got the appointments tree view so along with the tree i have just added a new tag that is banner underscore root equal to and here you have to specify the controller so this is the controller that is slash om hospital slash appointments so if i open that corresponding controller that i have created so i'll go to the controllers folder and inside the main.py here i have created a controller in the given name so in the from the tree view i have called this controller by using banner root so the call will be coming here and from here what i have returned is you can see html inside this view i have given h1 that is heading and inside the phone color it's given us a red phone color is given us red that's why you are seeing like and subscribe channel inside red color so that's given subscribe then sub, like and subscribe the channel is given inside phone and red color and in the next section you can see i have given the link to our youtube channel using ahrof so that it will be redirected to our youtube channel so this is the use case of the banner root in Odoo version 12 suppose if you need to show something like or something some if you need to notify something or if you need to display something inside the tree view you can just make use of this so this option will be available inside the form also so i'll just copy this one so i'll go to the xml and i will copy this banner root Control c and i will paste it inside the corresponding form view so here you have got the form view of the appointments so i'll just paste it here Control c and let's upgrade the module and see the change so if i switch to the form view right now you can see i have not added it there so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll just upgrade the Odoo development tutorials module so if you haven't got this module you can just download it from the Odoo app store so you can go to the Odoo app store and search for Odoo development tutorials or om hospital so that you can just download this module or you can just go to our github repository and there you can see a repository called Odoo development tutorials you can just clone it and get this module so let's wait until the module has got upgraded so you can see the module has got upgraded now i will go to the hospital then to the appointments and i'll switch to the tree view and i'll open any of the records 
so right now i have opened the records and here you can see the banner root also coming inside or top of the form view also so let's see if i change something here i'll just change this string to subscribe the channel subscribe the channel so i'll just that is a spelling mistake subscribe the channel i'll just update it so as I have made inside the changes inside the Python, I have to refresh the service or restart the service. So the service has been restarted. Now I'll just refresh the view to get the change. So let's wait until the view has been reloaded. So what we have done is we have just updated the string given inside the controller. So let's see it's loading. You can see the string has been updated. So this is how you can just how simply you can just return a string and show inside or on top of the tree view and form view so in the upcoming videos later we will see how we can add an onboarding panel as it has been added inside the accounting so if you just activate the debug mode so i'll just activate the debug mode using the debug mode extension that i have already installed and if i click on edit view content so you can know you can add this banner root inside form view, tree view and kanban view. So I'll just click on edit view kanban and if I scroll down you can see banner root account account onboarding panel. So let's see what's added inside this banner root there inside this controller. So I'll just scroll up and search inside Odoo add-ons. So find in path and if we search for this and I'll just switch the filters to python so here you can see this is the controller which added the onboarding panel for the accounting so you can just go through it and see how it is added so we will explain these things in another video later so right now we have just want to discuss only the simple thing how to just return a string from a controller so how to display this so if i switch to the appointments to view you can see subscribe the channel so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the updates so that's it thank you